come up. Hi, everybody. My name is Grace Howell. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi. And I'm very excited to talk about my project with you guys today. It's just a medical student led preventative health initiative in Mississippi. And so I'll just get started and jump right in. Um, just to start off, we all know that the South have always faced significant health challenges, most like notably that of hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and things like this. But there's been contemporary research around the fact, you know, social determinants of health. And if you're unfamiliar with the social determinants of health, those are just multiple factors that can come together to contribute to someone's poor health. Things like, you know, do they have access to a physician? Do they have insurance? Do they have financial stability? Are they educated enough to know that they need to go to the doctor in the first place? And do they have like a strong community environment? Things like this and all these things, according to recent research, can combine together to contribute to someone's poor health. And so this growing knowledge of this SDOH basically reveals the need for some interventions in this criteria. And recent efforts to address these interventions for the social determinants of health have been limited in like physicians having constrained schedules. They don't necessarily have, you know, more than 20 to 30 minutes to be able to sit down with the patient. And then patients have to get to the doctor in the first place. So you've got transportation, you've got all these things playing a factor in the person's health. Also, you know, legislature takes forever. So we don't know two, three years down the line, maybe this won't be an issue, but what can we do right now? So that leaves a big gap and opportunity for medical students, particularly who are, you know, proposed to have more time, a less fixed schedule, things like that to intervene now in the community. So that brings me to our project. Um, so starting in June, 2022, two medical students at the university in Jackson, Mississippi started the Student Health Coalition. And I've heard that so many times, it, but this is the first time y'all are hearing it. So it's called the SHC. And the SHC was created to increase health literacy, which was just, you know, one of the factors of the social determinants of health under education and all these things. And um, just to, excuse me, go a little bit more into health literacy, it's basically an individual's ability to not only know, you know, their health numbers, like blood pressure, blood glucose, things like that, but also the ability to understand and to implement health information that they're given in their daily lives to increase their own health and stuff like that. So within the SHC, basically medical students were trained by a community health advocacy training, which we call it CAJ training at our university. It was made by a professor at the university and this training taught students how to do blood pressure, blood glucose, BMI, stuff like that. But not just that, we also, you know, taught them how to sit down with a patient at an event and talk with them about anything they may have questions about. So, you know, I always use this example of somebody in an event saying, you know, why does my grandma lose their leg for diabetes? And we can actually take the time, make sure we walk them through handouts, pass thing, all kinds of things to make sure they can understand and increase their health literacy so they can make these decisions, you know, for themselves. After the trainings were made and we trained medical students to be a part of the organization, we booked events. So these events were like anywhere from a pickle fest and a fun community event or a church, anything we tried to reach people already going to places that they'll already be at. So we don't want them to have to come to us, get in their car. We even would go to their apartment buildings and stuff like that. So we don't want to have to you know, make anyone go somewhere that they're not already going. Okay, so these are our results and we're just really excited with this. We're so new, so we only started collecting data and we only started in June, 2022. So this data that we have is only from June, 2022 to November, 2023. But basically, if you look, oh yeah, it works. Okay, this is all the counties we've reached, but this was stopped in November, 2023. So we've actually reached more than half of the counties in Mississippi. And so Jackson's like right there. And we've just, it's just been a made an excellent impact. We've had, um, where are my numbers? Sorry, I'm gonna get in front of here. <laughs> but we've reached over 2,500 right now. Yesterday, I was telling some of y'all that we've reached like 3,000 patients as of yesterday in Mississippi, and that's just insane for a two-year-old organization. And then this is like just some stats on, we found the most uh, screenings happened at community festivals. So people were already there bringing their kids, having fun with their um, families, and we just kind of like, rope them in to come get their screening blood pressure blood glucose and stuff like that while the kids are bouncing on the bounce house and stuff and then this is just kind of some stats on if anybody ever wanted to implement something similar to this kind of what we got you know most success out of and that's like we people love blood pressure more than blood glucose so nobody really kind of wanted to be finger stuck so we just kind of 
asked if they wanted to, but mostly people wanted blood pressures, BMIs, things like that. And then also we got an average of maybe 20 um, screenings per event. So we like to know how many you're going to get. If it's going to be worth, you know, going all the way up to the Delta, if you're going to get one or two screenings. So we try to like stuff that out a little bit beforehand. And so we know that our results aren't necessarily like, we don't have any like detailed blood pressures that we can give you guys yet, but it's just in the works and we're growing. So I just wanted to conclude really quick so I know I'm talking way too much, but um, just SHC is growing. It's amazing. We started um, college ambassadorships uh, at Ole Miss, Mississippi State, all these things for pre-meds to get involved. We're trying to start a whole new generation of physicians that are educated on the social determinants of health, that know what health literacy is and know it's an issue that we need to fight now. And we just truly are really excited to share this process and the response that we've had so far in just the two years so that we can like make, well, let me start from, we believe that organizations like this are the best way for us right now to make an impact, to empower and inform communities in the social determinants of health and things like that. So if y'all have any questions, I'd love to hear them. I'll try my best to uh, answer them, but thank y'all for listening to me speak. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Add a question. I, um, are you saying like, will there be? Thank you so much. <laughs>